Dear brothers and sisters, last night I had a dream. I was waiting for the flight to pick me up. In my dream, I saw two helicopters. I believe these represented angels. Psalm 91.11 says, For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. And Mark 13.27 says, And he will send his angels and gather his elect from the four winds from the ends of the earth to the ends of the heavens. In my dream, I saw that one flight had gone before those of us waiting for our flight. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16-17 says, The dead in Christ shall rise first, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up, harpazo rapturo, together with them in the clouds, raptured. Praise the Lord. In my dream, as I waited for our flight, I visited a wise, joyful, and kind old man with white hair who'd authored the most beautiful book I've ever seen. In my dream, it was cobalt blue, even the pages, and the lettering was all golden. The man scrolled through the book he'd authored, and he lit up with enthusiasm as he talked about the adventures included inside this large, old, but current edition of historical, political, military, and diplomatic events in the Middle East, and more specifically in Israel and Jerusalem. I found a cheerful, joyful, yellow outfit to put on while visiting the wise old man. Good news, Jesus was born. Good news, he died on the cross. Good news, he rose again. Good news, he's coming back soon. Good news, good news. In my dream, I saw a teacher whose name means bitterness, rebelliousness, and wished for child who was supposed to be getting learners, students, disciples ready to take flight. But this teacher was allowing the learners to meander all over the place and move from building to building. Doors were being opened that allowed dangerous things to come into classrooms and into the minds of learners young and old. In my dream, I saw something that kind of looked like a DNA strand or maybe something alien and when people opened the doors to that it came in and infiltrated the classrooms we need the janitor to come in and clean up the mess praise the lord and we need teachers to tell the students come on hurry up get ready be ready the flight could arrive at any moment Jesus is coming soon. Many people are going to miss it and be left behind. People are going to give up waiting for it and anticipating it and wanting it and just go about doing other things. The beautiful cobalt blue golden book, as it was in my dream, reminds us that our citizenship is in heaven. And we eagerly await a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ. I know right now some of us feel like we're on the handicap team, whether it be actual physical, visible ailments or unseen issues like chronic pain or internal organ issues or overwhelming stress and difficult relationships and jobs and finances and grief and sadness. At the same time, what a beautiful thing to be a part of God's team that we're allowed to play and work together in our different roles and skills and talents with the big boys, the pros, the pros in the league, in the kingdom. We all have something to contribute, praise the Lord. Sometimes the game gets a bit messy and dirty and we fall down and we need the janitor to clean us up once again. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came 
by Christ Jesus. And when it's time to eat, to feast on God's word, let's unselfishly serve one another in love, especially those on our own immediate team. Thank you, Jesus, for the family of God and for our immediate families. Help us feast on the word of God to think about what's true and right and noble and pure and lovely and admirable and excellent. Help us share the good news of Jesus' birth, death, resurrection, and soon return. And let's all get ready for our soon flight. Maranatha, come quickly, Lord Jesus. Hosanna and hallelujah. Amen.